It's pretty obvious what this brand stands for, right? Design. This is the new 2011 S60, and like all Volvos for the past 10 years, it has a very svelte and desirable shape. It's as good looking as it is safe. You know, that other thing they're known for. Volvo has certainly proved that safety sells. Just about every single manufacturer has jumped on that bandwagon, leaving this brand with an interesting dilemma. What do they do to stand out now? How about protecting those who don't even drive? Some history, the XC60 crossover pioneered the city safety system that automatically slams on the brakes. If a driver isn't paying attention, it only detects cars though. That standard on S60 opt for a $2,100 technology package and it includes pedestrian detection with full auto brake. Cumbersome name, cool technology. It senses people and stops all by itself if the driver is distracted. How does it work? There's a radar unit in the grill and a camera embedded in the windshield. Both of them are looking for human movement. Sophisticated software then determines whether people are in danger. It detects bipeds 32 inches and taller, but not bicyclists or animals. It can completely avoid impact when traveling below 22 miles per hour and significantly reduces injuries at speeds under 50. Imagine a situation where you're driving maybe in a new city. It's very easy to become distracted, and that's when this technology is there to assist you. Then the car will actually brake itself. You didn't touch the brake? No. Nothing? No. Your foot was on the accelerator? Yeah. At launch, the S will be available with this 3-liter turbo in line 6, making 300 horsepower. It's mated to a 6-speed automatic with manual shift mode. Zero to 60 runs happen in just under six seconds, pretty darn quick. Fuel economy is EPA rated at 18 city, 26 highway. S60 is much more athletic than the outgoing model, though it still doesn't quite equal the gold standard BMW 3 Series. Inside, the gauges are all slightly oriented towards the driver for a cockpit feel. High quality materials have a soft touch. The signature slim center stack is here too. I prefer keyless ignition to this two-step process. No paddle shifters either. A common complaint about the outgoing S60? Snug rear quarters, a perfect opportunity for the evil twin back seat test. Yeah, at five foot nine, I am the taller of the two. The two additional inches of legroom, much appreciated. Starting at $37,700, it's priced aggressively against Audi A4, BMW 3 Series, and Infiniti G. Even if buyers simply treat Volvo as the safe choice, that's not a bad thing. But this Swede is now handsome and athletic enough to stop people in their tracks. Well, there you go. That's my take on the second generation Volvo S60. If you want a much longer, much more detailed version of this video, as always, go to DrivenCarReviews.com. And in this case, it is much more detailed. I'm Tom Volk.